Reparations Task Force voted to approve recommendations on how the state may compensate and apologize to black residents for generations of harm caused by discriminatory policies. The vote came down Saturday as the group continues its series of public hearings. Justin Andrews is live in Oakland. Justin, you have more details on the vote that happened over the weekend. Yeah, Jocelyn, this is a nine-member task force, and over the weekend they gave approval to some proposals, which includes payments and also an apology from the state. Now, this team met over the weekend here in Oakland to talk about this and also approve what they did, and this group's decision now will go to state lawmakers to consider. The first vote approved by the task force over the weekend is a detailed account of historical discrimination against black Californians in areas such as voting, education, housing, disproportionate policing, and incarceration. Incarceration. Other recommendations on the table range from the creation of a new agency to provide services to descendants of enslaved people to calculations on what the state owes them in compensation. The state task force approved a public apology acknowledging the state's responsibility for past wrongs and promising that the state will not repeat them. Reparations are not a luxury for our people, but a human right long overdue for millions of Americans. Millions of Americans. A promise of 40 acres and a meal made to formerly enslaved people over 150 years ago has yet to be filled. And it's critical that the promise be made, that was made to our ancestors many years ago is kept. And the process of truth telling and racial healing, that's gotta be carried out also. Now, the recommendations will be presented at the next meeting that they have scheduled, but uh, it has to be approved by lawmakers first. The deadline is July 1st. Back to you, Jocelyn.